Welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. It's the 20th of September 2022 and I'm Nikhil Roshini bringing you the weekly dose of blockchain news. Coming up, International NFT Day, the road ahead. Ethereum proof of work fork suffers hack. Alameda to repay $200 million loan. Wintermute hacked for millions. Blockchain events packed for the rest of the month. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. First up, with the rising popularity of non-fungible tokens, September 20th is now getting observed as the International NFT Day by the crypto community. International NFT Day celebrates the creation and use of NFTs. The term was coined by Dapper Labs Chief Technology Officer, Date Shirley, in the form of the ERC721 standard on the same day in 2017, marking its existence. Celebrating the International NFT Day, Blockchain educational platform Anathon celebrated lovers and creators of NFTs around the world by releasing a spectacular NFT video. Take a look. All the history of NFTs can be traced to Kevin McCoy on May 3rd, 2014. The term NFT was officially coined by Dapper Labs on the 20th of September. Since then, NFTs like Woman Rise NFTs to Mutant Ape Yacht Club and the unconventional ones like Piles of Rubbish and the God hates NFTs. Does God really hate NFTs? <laughs> the NFT space has achieved unimaginable feats from the art industry to the metaverse world, like wrestling metaverse world, and to building strong and large communities in the blockchain space. Here at Enathon, we celebrate with all lovers and creators of NFTs all around the world. Happy International NFT Day. Moving on and more on the recent Ethereum merge, Ethereum transitioned its proof-of-work powered consensus model to proof-of-stake with a hard fork last week. And now, Ethereum proof-of-work, the fledging proof-of-work Ethereum fork, has seen its first significant smart contract hack since the network split. Blockchain security infrastructure firm BlockSec first alerted users of a so-called replay attack. First, the exploiter transferred 200 wrapped Ether, currently worth $260,000, through the Ethereum blockchain's Omnibridge protocol to the Genosis network. The hack consisted of replaying the same transaction message on the Ethereum proof of work fork to receive 200 Ethereum W from that network's copy of the Omnibridge smart contract. As a result, the balance of the chain contracts deployed on the proof of work chain would be drained. BlockSec wrote. Security researchers warned that such attacks could occur on EtherW in the lead up to the fork. We do not support the chain and do not see us responsible for what is happening on that chain. The attacker had spun up false bridge activity to drain funds on Ethereum work. Genosis co-founder Martin Koppelman said. Meanwhile, crypto billionaire Sam Bankman Fried's Alameda Research will return about $200 million worth of Bitcoin and Ether it had borrowed from insolvent Voyager Digital Limited, according to a court filing from Voyager. The agreement to return the crypto was unveiled after Voyager's request to have a loan to Alameda repaid was granted by a New York bankruptcy court, according to a separate filing. To close up the news today, cryptocurrency market maker Winamute has lost $160 million in a hack relating to its decentralized finance operation, according to a tweet from the company's founder and CEO, Evgeny Gavoy. Although, the firm's lending and over-the-counter services have not been affected. Winamute CEO said that the company remains solvent with twice over $160 million remaining in equity. Founded in 2017, Winamute trades billions of dollars across crypto market daily as it provides liquidity across multiple venues. Last week, it was named as the official DeFi market maker for the Tron Network. Finally, today, we take a look at an upcoming event in the month of September. One of these events may include Token 2049 Singapore, dated 28th and 29th of September and happening at Marina Bay Sands. Token 2049 is the premier crypto event organized annually in Singapore and London where founders and executives of the leading Web3 companies share their views on the crypto market. Also note that the blockchain future tech event dated 29th and 30th of September will be streamed live on Crypto TV Plus. 
And that's it for the weekly news update here of Crypto TV Plus. For more market updates and all the happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, visit our website CryptoTVPlus.com. Also follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook and Twitter at Crypto TV Plus, and on Instagram at Official Crypto TV Plus to get daily info on our programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification button as well. And just in case you have questions regarding any of our news, join me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'm Miki Oshini. Until next time.